Hi guys, um, this is Sandra, uh, the goat lady with Cajun Corral Farm. In case you have never listened to me on my lives, either via Facebook or on our website at www.cajuncorral.com. Um, I've been goating, we, ha we have a goat farm, a dairy goat farm. Uh, with Nigerian dwarfs, uh, which are dairy goats, um, and I've been goading for about uh, over nine years. I have been making and producing um, goat's milk skincare line for almost seven years now. Uh, my skincare line was pretty much designed for selfish reasons. Um, I was sick and tired of feeling not clean uh, when I used store-bought soap. Um, and I didn't like the chemicals that were in the store-bought soaps. Um, growing up in Germany, I decided that uh, I was used to all natural products, uh, not necessarily handmade, but all natural products that were at a reasonable cost. Um, and if you have an all, -made, all natural product, that product will last you much, much longer than any store-bought products because you use a lot less. Um, so even though it's maybe a little bit more expensive, but overall it's actually less expensive. Um, so, um, about, I would say, um, a little bit, uh, almost seven years ago, I started making skincare products all made with goat's milk. Um, because I wanted my skin to feel clean again. I wanted my skin to be healthy again. I was sick and tired of the chemicals that were in some of the products, such as alcohol, such as, um, um, unref um, not unrefined um, base oils um, and so I was just was done with it um, so that's when I started making first of all soaps and it was very plain soaps and um, the way I got into selling them is because friends of mine said hey what are you doing different with your skin uh, I want to try it and I told them well, I'll make my own soaps here I got plenty try it and next thing I know, they wanted to buy it. And that, that was then the first indication that, hey, maybe I'm onto something here. That I was not the only one with that need of having healthier looking skin and clean skin. And so from there on, my business grew. Um, and uh, uh, other products were added on like alcohol-free lotions, body wash, facial, shavings, and so on. And if you're on our website, you'll see everything that I make. I make quite a bit, almost 70 uh, different products I make. So uh, one of the things that a lot of people are aware with goat's milk is, is that it's extremely beneficial for sensitive skin. Um, especially with eczema and psoriasis. And there's so many people out there, even little infants that suffer from eczema, severe eczema. Um, I have done some research on it. And um, the reason why I got into um, extremely damaged skin is, and if goat's, goat's milk products, skincare products would be beneficial, is because my husband suffered from, or is still suffering from desert storm disease. Pretty much what it is that um, skin layers of the skin get peeled off till the flesh shows. And we had tried, before starting making lotions, we have tried uh, cortisone, alcohol-based products, and they would work maybe for one or two days and then it would be just even worse. Um, main reason was because most of these products have alcohol in it. Well, what does alcohol do? If you have used alcohol products before, you know it moisturizes maybe a little bit, but then you're back into this vicious cycle where you constantly have to moisturize and your skin gets drier and drier and drier. So um, what the results of that is pretty much your pH level goes off. And when your pH level goes off, you have rashes, you have breakouts, you have itchy skin, unhealthy skin, aging skin, all the things we're trying to prevent, especially as women. So um, that's when I started making unscented products because of him. He asked me, hey, can you make me something that is unscented? Um, and so I started investigating, started researching, and so yes, I do make unscented products. Of course, that line kind of like got the um, got brought out not only to psoriasis and eczema um, um, individual, it also got brought into uh, individuals that have a certain um, essential oils that they want to use, like Young Living, Deuterra, um, or other ones. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that line. 
they're just too expensive for me to put in my products that I create. So, um, I also offer that as a base that you can use to make your own uh, lotion. Because generally when you have essential oils, you want to maybe use today lavender, tomorrow you want to use patchouli, and then the next day you maybe want to use grapefruit. Well, with that you can use that. And so, I just want to show you what I have available in the non-scented. And what it is really that helps you to have such healthy looking skin. So, I just made a fresh batch of daddy soap. Daddy soap is called after my husband because he asked me to make that. Um, and originally I was never going to sell it until, because, you know, plain soap sounds so ordinary, right? Um, until my daughter, our sassy goat, came along and says, you know, I want to try some of daddy soap. I'm like, oh, that might be a catchy name. So we call it daddy soap. So this is Crumpy Goat Daddy Soap. So this is about a four ounce soap. And pretty much what you would do is it's non-scented, has vitamin E, it has raw goat's milk in it. And um, all the other amazing uh, ingredients, uh, unrefined ingredients that are in there, uh, including the, uh, the honey from my husband's bees. So um, what you would want to do is you want to cut it in half, store one half in a Ziploc bag or in the wrapper that it comes in, and the other half you would um, rub it on a wet scrunchie. Or rub it in your hand, wet hands, and as soon as it lathers up, you want to put it somewhere uh, where the um, water is not going to hit it. And um, then keep lathering up either your hand or your scrunchie, and it will lather up like tremendously. I like a nice thick lather, and that's how I designed it. So it's almost like whipping cream. So when you wash your body with this or your hands when you wash it off I get it all the time where my customers it, it feels clean especially new ones they're like man they're like oh my god this feels actually very clean so with that said it's not only the clean what it does is uh, goat's milk has a natural acid the raw goat's milk has a natural acid called alpha hydroxic acid the alpha hydroxic acid is the same acid that a dermatologist's office uses when they give you peeling. So what does the acid do? It exfoliates your skin. It gets rid of all your dead skin cells. So while it gets rid of all your dead skin cells, your pores are open and then allows the soap to actually cleanse your pores. So you feel like you can breathe again. All the gunk that has been stored up onto your skin from previous, from other um, um, skin um, products is getting washed away. Also the vitamin A and D in the raw goat's milk also allows um, for the creation of new skin cells or the production of new skin cells. So what does that mean? So if you have eczema, let's say, Eczema generally is a little ashy. It always has dry skin. So it washes off the dry skin. The vitamin A and D actually heals the skin. That's the healing portion with the zinc and the different minerals and the selenium that's in there. Now selenium actually restores sun damaged skin cells. So as you put that on, what happens is it actually allows you to heal your, your skin. And you know, we all have diff um, several different skin layers. And because it goes in the pores and soaks in, it actually allows you to heal all your skin layers. So you could actually leave it as such because a lot of guys do not like lotion. But if you have eczema and psoriasis, I definitely would recommend the full package, the soap and the lotion. Now, some people want to have a little bit more moisturization. I have clients or customers that is go are going through chemo treatment and they have those dry spots all over their, their body. Well, or they have diabetes and they have dry skin and it just comes with the diabetes. So what I always recommend is the non-scented avocado soap. It still has goat's milk in it, so you still have the benefits, but you also have the avocado, which is it gives you an extra moisturization and additional vitamin E. Vitamin E is also very, very good for the healing properties. And they have always come back and got more because it works so well. Okay. So 
In addition to, like I said, you also want to use a lotion. So we also make the vitamin E lotion. It's also non-scented. Uh, non-scented uh, lotion, you want to, um, that's all you need. Now watch, I put it on my hand. And maybe you can, I should have done the before, before and after, but I didn't. But you see, it's already all soaked in. Um, so there's no scent. So when you have eczema or psoriasis, you want to use that twice a day. Uh, and the reason why is you want to use it in the morning, the evening. In the evening, you can put it on a little bit more. And it generally takes about two weeks. After two weeks, you'll see that um, the cl uh, it's clear. Um, without any alcohol, it won't burn. Uh, the first time you use it, you're going to already see the difference. It lightens up a little bit. Um, and um, you feel the, see the effects right away. But when you use it... Uh, at least for two weeks, you'll definitely notice how much better it's getting. So with that said, that's what I would recommend for eczema and psoriasis. Um, if you have, let's say, your essential oil, so while you're lathering up the non-scented, put one or two drops of your essential oil that you want to use and then lather up your body. Um, in the lotion, it's the same thing. You take a scoop out. Uh, put a drop of your favorite essential oil on there and then put it on the body part that you want to use it. Um, that You no longer have to use coconut oil. You still get the benefits of the, essential, uh, of the goat's milk, but you also get the benefits of the essential oil that you want to use for that day. Um, of course, I do have different scents, um, but these are really, because I get this a lot, um, and lately I get it a lot um, more because there's a change in the temperature, and I find that eczema especially um, gets more irritated, you know, around, you know, as soon as the temperature changes, um, you have more drier skin. So, um, which body parts can you use it? There's people that have eczema and psoriasis. On their scalp you can wash your hair with it you can even take a little bit rub it in your hand and massage your scalp with it twice a day it will not make your skin uh, your your hair oily you can use it on your face um, I tell a lot of moms that come and said look don't only use it for the baby use it on your face as a facial cream all my lotions have SPF in it a small amount of SPF because if I put too much in, if I make it too high, it's going to be almost like a butt paste, very, very thick. And it will take forever for you to soak in. I don't have forever, and I design all my skincare products the way I like them. I like to rub it on and go. I want to feel the protection. I want to feel that um, my body is uh, safe from all the harmful full in environment, but I don't want it to be heavy on my body. And I wanted to be able to soak in, and so this is what it does. Um, and it stays with me pretty much all day. So um, I wanted to share this with you. I hope this has helped you quite a bit with uh, in regards to question, uh, in regards to if it would work for X months psoriasis. It does work. Um, and so I do want to encourage you to... Um, Purchase uh, some online or here at the store. Uh, we are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 3. Um, just make sure you bring a mask or you can, for your own convenience, I can ship it to you via, you can place an order via the website. Now, if you place an order or you come by and you pay more, uh, purchase more than $30 worth, I will give you 15% off. Um, make sure you use the coupon code THANK, uh, lower dash, you thank you or you look for the uh, for my advertisement on my Facebook page under Cajun Corral Farm um, so um, or I will also probably post it on uh, or you Google uh, when you Google my website uh, my site or my, uh, my business it's actually under uh, under that and um, under the pictures there's also um, the picture of the coupon code in there, the promo code. And that, but that's only good till December 18th. Um, so uh, take advantage of it. Uh, buy some Christmas presents. We have a lot of it that you um, can get for guys and for ladies, uh, for grumpy goats and for the sassy goats in the world. So uh, with that, I want to tell you, God bless you. Stay safe. And um, 
If you have any questions, just message me. And again, I'm Sandra with Cajun Corral Farm. Our website is www.cajuncorral.com. And uh, you can go under it. Or you can also like me on Facebook under Cajun Corral Farm. Um, and that actually on the top brings you a link. Shop now brings you straight to my website. Uh, we also are having... Um, several different events throughout the year. Check them out on our calendar on the website. Thank you and God bless. See you soon.